Hi everyone, my name's Tash and I'm an artist based in the UK and I love to spread the joy of creativity for our wellness and well-being. So to do that every single day I try to upload a new creative task for you to do, sometimes drawing, painting, colouring, um, all sorts. So the theme this week is leaf. I tend to pick out a ticket. The one I picked out this week was Leaf and we've had Panda and Lizard so far in the past so you can check out those videos too. Go and have a look. You can either join in with the videos or just relax and watch and grab a cup of tea and have some quiet time. What's up to you how you want to use them. So today I'm going to do watercolour leaves in my watercolour sketchbook. Remember it's just a daily sketch so hopefully it won't take too long. And just to let you know there's a whole set of leaf themed colouring sheets or learn to draw sheets online on my W where you can for a small fee download and print at home and then you can follow along with anything I do if you should want to. Okay let's get started on watercolour today. Okay, let's get started. I'm using um, waterproof pens now. These are the Micron pens that you can get so that when we do the watercolour it won't smudge any of the pen that's there. So I'm going to draw an idea of an oak leaf. Um, just loosely. Then I will go over it in the Micron pen. Um, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate at the same time. And then we will watercolour it in lots of lovely autumny colours and we'll just be quite loose with it. Loose and lovely. So we're just going to kind of just do squiggly lines for this to create the leaves because that's what they are really. They're really squiggly, aren't they? These um, kind of oak tree leaves are anyway. That one's like that. Squiggle, squiggle in uh, and round, down, and squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. <laughs> That's all it is. Lots of squiggles. So take your time to draw out. Just, just Google a, a, a shape of an oak leaf, <clears throat> and take your time to draw out the leaf shape how you want it. Okay, so that's what I've done. I've taken my time. Um, my time, your time might be different. You might be quicker, you might be a bit slower. Don't pressurise yourself. This is meant to be for mindfulness. You are meant to be relaxing and enjoying it. And remember, it's your sketchbook. It's nobody else's. You do what you want in it. If you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. You do it again. Because that's how we learn. There's no pressure here. There's no really mistakes because... It's, it's just what happens. Um, but if there is something that hasn't turned out quite like how you wanted in your head, then just do another one. I did a watercolour painting just before I did this one of maple leaves and I didn't like how it turned out. So we'll try it again. Um, but with a different leaf type and a different method. So. tubes whereas if you buy watercolor you will get a tray right so we want some watercolor and we want a round brush and we're gonna mix up some reds and some yellows and some greens so why mix all I'm gonna do actually is get the colors I want I've already got red and orange there I'm gonna get some pigment from the tray of paint and then I'm just going to keep adding water because then when we add it to the paper <clears throat> it will be um, it will be <clears throat> sort of a less pigment therefore a kind of a tinted color a paler color right green let's go for this green we'll go for like an olivey green I think that'll be nice what's that coming out like it's coming out quite yellowy, whereas I do actually want some green in there. So perhaps we'll also go for... What's that green like? No, I don't like that one. That one might do it. Yeah. Okay. So 
So just test out your colours on a scrap bit of paper and think, is that the one I want? Is that the one I want? I have probably got them swatched out somewhere on a piece of paper, so I could probably find the one I want without actually doing that. I can just look at the sheet, but I don't know where I put it in. It doesn't matter. Right, I'm going over the whole thing now. Because it's waterproof pen, I'm going over the whole thing with water. <clears throat> Try not to do it so there's pools of water anywhere, but you want to have it... <clears throat> this is for wet on wet, so wet paper, wet paint. And we're just kind of going to let the, the colours bleed into the, the paper a bit. What I shouldn't have done, actually, is the background there, but never mind. So I'm just going to let that bleed into the leaf. Let it go wherever it wants. Do the same with the green. We can kind of guide it, even though I've done the background. So don't do the background, guys. Don't wet the background down, because you'll find, if you do that... We're getting some really lovely autumny colours here. It's pooling a bit in the middle because the paper isn't flat. Let me just get some tissue. I normally have some tissue around. I'll use my rag. <clears throat> what we don't want is pools of water. <clears throat> we definitely don't want that and it's easy done when you are wet on wet because you're putting wet down onto even more wet. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll do a layer and then we can come on and add more after. So I've done mainly green there. Let's dry it. You can let yours dry. Okay, it's not completely dry, we don't need it to be because we're going to be coming in anyway with some more colour. So let's yellow up this side here, make that a bit more yellowy. Let's get some orange. I think I need a bit more of the orange actually on my brush. This is supposed to be orange coming out like a pinky orange but that's fine it's a nice autumny colour isn't it and all I'm doing really is layering up until I'm happy with what I've got let's come in with this green but make it darker do you know what I'm feeling like I'd like to add some brown let's find a nice brown yeah that will do let's use that one Oh yes, that's nice. That's very autumny, isn't it? <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm kind of just making it up as I go. <clears throat> I'm not looking at the photo to see what the colours are. I'm just imagining it in my head. <clears throat> I love that brown. As you can see, I've added more. I love that brown. That's so nice. So I'm just spreading that round. That's going to create a nice autumny feel. And a bit more over there. I think I want to <clears throat> get some more colour in on the tips here. I'm looking a bit pale. So I'm putting paint down that's got a bit more pigment in it and less water. <clears throat> and then really we're done. You can keep adding more colours, whatever you want, you know. orange here so let's add some orange I need to push that around a bit <clears throat> it's quite strong because I didn't have much water on it but I did want to have a quite a nice strong orange there we go and yeah you can just keep playing around with it just have fun with it um, where did I get that brown from? just gonna come down the tip 
there with the brown we'll start off with full color and then just let it flow and we're done that's our leaf watercolor so watercolor can be lovely and quick if you don't have much time and it's not overly messy i mean that's the worst mess that i've made so that just tip that away and tip your water away and you're done so um yeah please do follow for more daily crafty arty activities and there'll be lots more to come this week theme is leaf uh, i don't know what day we're on um so just keep checking back and don't forget if you want the sheets to play along then you can go to my w and download okay have a good day everyone bye